What else is here? Oh, the office. Let's check the bathrooms. It's locked. Someone appears to be inside since it's a unisex bathroom. I don't know who's actually in there. We knocked on the door and tried calling out to whoever was on the other side, but... There's no response. This isn't going nowhere. Guess we should give up for now and check on it later. Alright. There's the office. Circuit breaker should be inside this office. Hmm. It's better if we check out the circuit breaker first. I assume that's it. No, that's the remote control. Wait. This timer here is set to 11.30 p.m. Wasn't the timer for the air conditioner in the dining hall also set for that time? Can't be a coincidence, right? Updated. Nice. Where's this breaker? Let's check the case. This Duralum case. It should contain all the dangerous items Byakuya collected. What the, what the hell is in that shelf down there? We should check inside just to be safe. It's locked. Yep. Byakuya had to keep this particular Duralum case with him. Check it out, he brought it with me so there's no need to worry. Hey, is it okay to take the key without permission? Now, now. It's forbidden to tamper with the crime scene, but if we don't, we can't check inside this case, right? <laughs> so I should open it. We all have we all have to know. Curious eyes, you know. He does not feel any remorse, and I like him for that. See? We're solving murders here. We're not playing some game. It's open. Forks, kitchen knives, iron skewers, and various tools are crammed inside. Didn't that wasn't there only three kitchen skewers? There's that damn wrench that soda brought. What the hell was he thinking? You know, the killer didn't take anything. Because the key to this case was inside the case Byakuya had with him. I guess you're right about that. It's a damn doll. Uh, I've been found. Alright. Oh, there it is. It's up here. Why is this all the way up here? Who the hell can even reach that? I like it'll probably happen because of this. I see. It doesn't look like something someone did anything to it. Nothing else looks suspicious either. The circuit brick is pretty high up, even if he's a step body, it won't reach it. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why it's so mysterious. During the blackout, I was panicking so bad I forgot about that, but you're right, even with the step ladder, there's no way you'd be able to reach that circuit breaker. Which means someone who must have reset the breaker after the blackout, but who? I did it! Whoa. Actually, you idiots had no idea what to do about the blackout, so I'm the one who reset the circuit breaker. By the way, I'm not the one who tripped the breaker. The killer did that, of course. But how did someone as small as you reset the breaker? Hey, um... Well, firstly, my eyes work real good at night, so I have no trouble seeing in the dark. And if you want to know how I reach a circuit breaker, my body stretches. You know, I'm very elastic. I won't be Liar! Want to see? Want to see a version of Monokuma with his body all stretched out? It's gross, it's grotesque! <laughs> no thanks, just imagine it makes you want to puke. Oh really? Such a shame. So Still, cool. don't you think Monokuma's such a nice guy? In a popularity contest, he'd take first place. And he'd probably take the second and third place too, he's just that nice. I see. What the hell? So he's the one who reset the breaker? Well in that case, I'm convinced. There's no way we'd be able to reach that. Well, if that's the case, how did they trip the circuit breaker? Maybe both of the air conditioners going at the same time tripped the breaker? Maybe it overloaded it? I don't know. Huh. Hey, what do you know? You weren't here this whole damn time! You're the most suspicious one here! <laughs> you are very smart. You are very smart. You knew the second I clicked on you. That I doubted you. It does not surprise me. An unexpected blackout occurred and during that time Byakuya was killed. Anyway. The circuit breaker is in the office, naturally. I look suspicious since I was supposed to be here. Wait. Supposed to be here? Does that mean... I see. So I was right. You weren't in the office. 
But why? Weren't you supposed to guard the circuit breaker in the Durlum case with all the weapons in it? Huh? Where'd you run off to on your own? Well... That is... Did you have to use the bathroom? <laughs> Peko suddenly dropped to one knee and started groaning on the spot. What happened? I'm just not feeling too well. I apologize, but excuse me. What the heck? Excuse me, what was that? Hey. It appears the bathroom inside this old building is currently occupied, so... I recommend either the hotel lobby or cottage. Huh? Seems like that will be a tough path. With cold sweat dripping from her forehead, Pico wobbled out of the office. What happened to her? <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to say it myself. I already feel bad enough for Pico as it is. What does that mean? Huh? I mean, it's because it's cool. She didn't like run away or something. Because right. if she ran away, she'd obviously be the killer. I'm almost positive. Is that really what it is? Alright, are we done here? No, we're not. Stop it. Game. What else do I have to search for? The desk. Is this desk the staff used for busy work? Nothing in particular that catches my eye. Oh, we gotta talk to him, don't we? Maybe. Isn't Peko the killer? Why do you think that? I mean... Well, she wandered off somewhere even though she was supposed to be in the office. When we were looking for Byaki after the blackout, I went to the office right away, but when I got here, she was gone. Well... I shouldn't say this too loud, or else Sonia will yell at me. Hmm. Peko's probably the one who tripped the circuit breaker and used the blackout to her advantage to kill Byakuya. Hey. And don't you think she looks kind of ruthless too, like an assassin, right? Well, it's not like you look any better, dude. Look at the guy's teeth. Ugh. Now then. Yeah, I guess we're done. We should get going. Let's get the hell out of here. What else do we gotta check out? Is that everything? I think that's everything. Yep. Yep, I looked around. Let's check. Byaki is- Oh, the cottage! Good idea. I don't really mind going together, but... Aren't you worried about the possibility that I might be in danger? Hey. You mean am I worried about you being the killer? <laughs> to be honest, I don't think you're the killer. In fact, I can't even imagine it. It's like instead of living with doubt in others, it's so much better to die believing in others. Well, that's a philosophy for you. Don't talk like that, though. We're doing this so we can live, you know. I see. You sure are strong. You are definitely the chosen one. Chosen by Hope Speak Academy. Let's get going to Byakuya's Cottage. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time we talk, I don't really know how I'm supposed to react. The moment I left the old building, there was a strange scene unfolding before me. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? What am I doing, you say? Ha! I know well, what you're doing. Truly a foolish question. Just trying to get that damn earring. Just checking to see if we can get under the floor from here. That's what I thought. There's got to be a way to get under the floorboards. Under the floor? Why? Why? Who said it was futile? Who decided it was impossible? Dude, no one, okay? How did you know I cannot recover my earring? If it is possible to get under the floor, it'll change our understanding of the murder. I think. So I thought it was important to check it. Hmm. I see. Under the floor, huh? I never considered thinking of it like that. What do you mean? See? Come on, think about it. Hey. The carpet I didn't reach under the table where we found Byakuya's body, right? Hmm. And the dining hall floor had huge gaps between the floorboards. Then, is it possible the killer killed Byakuya by stabbing him from beneath the floor? Oh, yeah. See, I'm smarter than you guys to give me credit for. Yep. That's what I thought, so I'm trying to see if we can get under it from here. Well? Mm. I guess it's not possible to get under the floor from the outside. The building is surrounded by firm fences, so there's no way to sneak under the floor from there. But... Even so, I couldn't find a way to get under the floor from inside the building either. Do you think there's a possibility that there's a hidden hole somewhere? Or perhaps a secret passage? No, that's not possible. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure there's no way to get under the floor? 
You can't seem to get under the floor from inside the outside the building. That's a relief. Why? Because if you could get under the floor from the outside, there'd only be one logical suspect. The only person who didn't come to the party and also doesn't have an alibi. Now if we go. So I suspected him too. That's why I was checking to see if it's possible to get under the floor from outside. Well Speaking of which, not long after I began guarding the entrance, Fuyuhiko came here. He did? Huh? What happened, Fuyuhiko? Huh? Oh, hey, what are you doing here? All alone at a place like this? Yep. I'm standing guard so Monokuma doesn't come inside. Huh. <laughs> How diligent of you. Hey, hey. You're not coming to the party? What are you saying? Hell no, not even if you paid me. Parties are stupid. They make me want to puke. Aww. You want to come to the party, right? Isn't that why you came here? Chiaki knows. Of course not. I was just going for a damn walk. What, do I have to report to you every time I want to go for a fucking walk? That's wrong. No, it's not like that, but... <laughs> Don't leave me alone. Hmm. And then he just laughed. So that happened, huh? But why did he come here? He probably wants to be part of the group, but he can't be honest about it. He believes he's different from everyone else. That's why he's always alone. Hey, hey. He's like the main character of an RPG. Have you played those before? Oh, have I ever. When do we start talking about video games? Okay. I see. Even though we don't really know what he's thinking, I don't think we have any reason to doubt him. I'm glad. That's a relief, I'm glad. You keep saying you're glad, but we have no idea who the killer is, so stop being so fucking glad all the time, Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky. Maybe they should have called you the ultimate of happiness. God damn, I'm gonna get me sick to my stomach. I need a new partner. <laughs> I guess for now we should just stick to the plan and head over to Byakuya's cottage. <laughs> as long as the probability is greater than zero, that will suffice. I have not unleashed even half of my power yet. Alright, that works. Seems he has no intention of investigating. You better start pulling some weight. Otherwise, he's off the team. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, I forgot where. I forgot this place is all, like, interconnected. Uh, let's go. Oh, dude, how'd you get here so fast? Okay, where's his cottage? Aha! I leveled up. It's locked. Hey. I guess we need to ask him for help. Oh, come on. Monokuma! Did you call me? Unfortunately, we did. When did you train Monokuma? Hey. I was wondering if you could do us a favor. There's something we want to investigate. What's this? Who are you talking to? This is just my afterimage. Whoa. <laughs> when I get serious, my afterimage is unleashed. What? I can even play soccer by myself as long as I have this cloning technique. That would be boring to play alone. I don't have time for this shit. Just try up and open the goddamn door. Well, it's for the class trial. Something we really need. Hmm? For the class trial. This is hmm. If it's for the class trial, there's no way I can refuse. Now then, there's only one spell that can open these doors. I'll leave the rest to you. What is open with a magic spell? Jeez. Probably powered by electricity. At any rate, this performance was a waste of time. I see, I guess we should go inside then. You're right. Watch this place be ransacked. Nope. Hmm. What's this? An envelope. On the table. To Byakuya Tagami. It's a letter. That's weird. There's no sun to the looks pretty suspicious. Hajime. You should check what's inside. Yeah, you're right. Let's see, um, be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. What? Dude, this is... This it's an is... omen. It's a crime warning. Now, if it says be careful, it's probably definitely a threatening letter. Regardless, who would send something like this? Maybe. Hey. This is why Byakuya suddenly decided to throw a party. What? First kill happened tonight because someone made this threat to Byakuya. He gathered everyone in one area and was extremely cautious about all the dangerous items. 
He was trying to create a scenario in which everyone could monitor each other. He thought if he did that, nobody would be able to kill anyone. So he believed this crazy letter. What? He couldn't ignore the possibility of this happening, even if it was just a worst case scenario. Hey. Remember what Byakuya kept saying how he wouldn't let anyone become a victim? He couldn't overlook that slim possibility just to keep his promise. And why did he keep it a secret? If he had just told us. Nope. He probably couldn't. He probably thought that was also a worst case scenario. What do you mean? Mm. If everyone knew that this that what was in this letter, whether it's a lie or not, everyone would likely begin to doubt each other. And at that point there'd be no turning back. So Byakuya tried to do something about this all by himself without telling anyone? Yep. His strong sense of responsibility is the only explanation I can think of. Anyway, whoever sent Byakuya this letter also killed him. Is that what you're saying? Sorry. No, this could be a prank, and it might have nothing to do with Byakuya's death at all. What was that? He suddenly became really quiet. I see. He doesn't want to believe one of us could be the killer. But still, we've come all the way here, and it's the only thing I can think of. The person who wrote this letter murdered Byakuya. That's the case. That person completely predicted how Byakuya would react once he received it, right? They planned to manipulate Byakuya and kill him right before our eyes in that old building. Damn it, who the hell would do that? Hey. There's probably not much time left until the class trial starts. Probably. <laughs> Which reminds me, you asked my hero for a favor earlier, right? Yeah, where everyone was standing just before the blackout. She probably finished by now. You're coming with me, right? That was a rhetorical question. Get your ass over here. Sorry. That's all you. What do you mean that's all me? I need some time alone. Time to collect my thoughts. I, I understand. Hey. If you're going back to the old building, you should hear what Mikan has to say as well. I think the results of her autopsy should be ready by now. Bye now. See you later. Alright, toodles! I hope he's okay. I don't really care about him right now, but that's okay. Maybe later. Nothing here. That's it. Oh, was there a Monokuma doll in there? Crap! No, not him. I think I saw one. I think I saw one up sh oh, like on top of the shelf or something. I think I saw one. No, I guess not. You never know with these damn things. Aha! I know I saw one in here. No. Gotcha. Okay, now we can go. Continue the trial. That's what that one guy's doing. He's not looking for his earring. He's looking for those damn bears. He wants to know what the secret he's going to get, too. Oh, hey, it's Manomi. It's you. Whoa. <laughs> what the? What the hell is that? It was you? The bathroom seems to be open. Oh, aww. You. Huh? I feel so lighthearted right now. <laughs> I, Nekomaru Nadai, have been reborn. I have no intention of losing anymore. Losing to who? Oh. I won't lose to anyone, not even my past self. That sounds cool and all, but what are you even talking about? Sure. What? <laughs> I don't know who was behind it, but someone tried to make a shitty bastard out of me. Some scoundrel was occupying the bathroom before the party was about to start. Now that you mention it, you did say something like that about the shortly after the party. The door just won't open. Jeez. However, you think I'd be angered by something like that, you've all underestimated my nerve and patience. Oh. Do all and achieve all with one's presence of mind. That is the goal of a true leader. Fool. In other words, a leader must never falter in any situation, but always have the presence of one's mind. He says that, but I'm pretty sure he was shaken up by the whole ordeal. Oh well, best not to get into it. Anyway, so you're saying the bathroom door was shut first from before the party started to after the blackout. So what I mean is... And the bathroom was finally unoccupied after Byakuya's body was found. It's about how long that lasted. What he said sounds stupid and irrelevant, but I, I should remember just in case. Boy, there's a lot of these. Let's go see what they found out. 
Not that. Hey. Where the hell did you wander off to? I wasn't wandering, I was investigating. <laughs> well, if you weren't sucking off, then I guess it's fine. So, did you find anything? Hmm. Sorta. You don't sound sure. Hey. I'll just take a look at this. Um. Just as you told me, using the two photos I took before the blackout. I tried to pinpoint where everyone was standing. When I did, this diagram was the result. Okay. Tokyo question mark. Chikai question mark. Fukuhiko position unknown. Pekka question mark. Okay. Everyone's pretty much in the dining hall. So I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Just as I thought, Byaki was standing a far distance from that table. It's impossible. There's no way he'd be able to move that far during the blackout. Wait, what's this line extending from the table where Byakuya was killed? It's the desk clamp. I drew the power cord for it just in case. Power cord for the desk clamp? If that cord is extending from the table where Byakuya was killed, that means... Hey. So did you find something? Uh, it's not clear to me yet, but... Hmm. I guess you're right. I didn't really understand it myself when I was drawing it. I have a feeling that it's either a potential clue or just a waste of labor. No, it wasn't wasted at all. It's not clear to me yet, but there's no mistake that a clue is hidden here. An extremely important clue. Let's, uh, let's, ta oh, let's talk to her. I can tell you a little bit of what I want to say. Did you find out anything? I tried within reason to perform an autopsy on Byakuya's body. And I discovered that there were several puncture wounds around Byakuya's chest and abdominal region. D deep wounds, deep enough to reach his lungs and internal organs. It can be assumed that a very thin, sharp object around 5 millimeters in diameter was used to stab him over and over and over again, which is what I believe. Are you okay? I'm sorry, talking about made me sad. You don't need to push yourself, I mostly got the gist of what you want to say. Still around 5 millimeters in diameter. Isn't that- that's pretty thin. That's like an ice pick or an awl. Whatever that. What's a what's an awl? I have never heard of that. Wait, no. There was a secret passage. I wanted to investigate the secret passage. I'm not ready. Alrighty, guys. It's finally time. That's right. It's time for the long-awaited class trial. Now then, I shall tell you all the meeting place. At the central island of Jabberwock Island, there is a mountain with my adorable face carved into it. That, my friends, is Monokuma Rock. Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'm not ready. A mountain with the carving of his face. I know where that is. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, we're on the island. Okay. There it is. Uh, okay. What the heck is that mount? When did that get there? Never mind that. How did they even make a mountain shaped like Monokuma? No way. That story. That story might be true after all. There might be an enormous organization involved in all this. Wait, you mean what Byakuya said before, right? You are right. Byakuya, we still needed his knowledge. <laughs> still can't believe he's dead. <laughs> God, it's so creepy. What happened to Gundam and Fuyiko? Um, now that you mention it, it appears they aren't here yet. I got it! Uh, I know, they probably ran away. No way! Oh hell no, there's no way I let them escape, you know. Look, I dragged this one back over here. Don't fuck with me! Hey! Keep I'm acting on. violent, I might just eat you up. Hey! Fuyiko, what were you doing all this time? 
Nothing. I wasn't really doing anything. I was just chilling in my room and I suddenly heard that fat bastard got killed. Who the fuck cares about that anyway? How can you say something so irresponsible? Do you understand? We've been doing our best to investigate this murder even though we don't want to just to survive. Wait. Here, that's enough. You too, Fuyuhiko. Dumbass. Um. And I guess we're waiting for Gundam. What happened? I am right Sinner. here. Now then, let us begin. I don't even want to read his lines. I just want to let the voice actor do all of the work. Huh? Hey. It seems he noticed it too. He got his earring back. <laughs> if it did, then I'm right. Now that everyone's all together, let's take the secret entrance to the trial field. What's this? My, my, Manomi, just what are you doing here? Nobody asked for you. I... Well, what? Do you actually want to join in? You masochistic mascot. Special breeding service. Oh, well, I'm a big brother who dotes on his little sister. I show all your special participation. See ya later. I'll go ahead and wait for you guys to so hurry over. He told us to come. How do we get there? I don't see any doors or vehicles. What's going on? He mentioned something about a secret entrance. Was it a secret entrance? Do you know? I... Uh, up here on the rock somewhere. Okay. What the hell? Please get down. Get down. Oh crap. Well. No way. Is he telling us to enter it? What? Such a suspicious or even Crimson Steel Elf and Mega Z is trembling with fear. What the hell is that? Yeah. It's totally suspicious. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, <laughs> Why don't we just stop here? I mean none of this is real anyway. Like not even remotely. This is all like fantasy. Nothing. No way, no way. There's just no way we'll find the killer. Stupid. Your body won't get us anywhere. If you're really a man, then man up for God's sake. We've come this far. We have no choice but to keep moving forward. You're right. There's nowhere for us to run. We need to do it. Mm. If that's everyone's decision, I'll just follow you guys. Yep. If this were a video game, I'd have it have a very high difficulty level. So let's do our best to create this video game. I don't want a high difficulty level. Seeing with fear and nervousness, I hesitantly lifted my feet and stepped onto the escalator. I won't think anymore. If I think, I'll just run away. All I could do was stare upward intensely as the escalator carried me into the great unknown. And when each of us entered Monokuma Rock... Alrighty then. Oh, this is a familiar setting. Alrighty, guys, you know the drill. Class trial, next few episodes. I don't know how long these are going to take. So, and you'll see my beautiful face. I know you're all excited for that. So, I'll see you then. Have a good day.